Aloha everyone and welcome back to Aloha Jen's beauty blog. For those of you that are new here, hi! My name is Jen and I am a licensed esthetician in the state of California. Well, welcome to number two video in the New Year, New You series. Today is Monday, January 2nd. It is a holiday here and I am off work today. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about my day today before we get into this video because that's part of this New Year, New You series is every day I'm gonna share with you um, my day. So I woke up this morning at 4.30 in the morning. I wanted to get up at 5.30. I had a hard time sleeping last night. I did not sleep very well. I think I had anxiety about this series going up because I'm a little bit worried about it. Um, Cause you know, my channel's not doing so hot right now. Views are down, nobody's liking my videos. And you know, sometimes it's disheartening because, you know, I put a lot of work here into this channel. And like I've always mentioned, I, people are more attracted to fancy backgrounds and stuff. And I don't have that. You are here in my bathroom. I told you this series was going to be in the raw. <laughs> so I woke up at 4.30 and Misha and I watched uh, Family Karma. So one of my vices is I do like Bravo shows and the shows that I like are the Real Housewives of the OC. I love the Real Housewives series. I love Family Karma. So I um, DVR those and so we watched that this morning and then we fell asleep on the couch and I woke up at 8.40 in the morning. <laughs> so I immediately got up. I went to the grocery store, picked up all my groceries came back home, I ran three miles, I did some yoga, and it's now, right now, it is almost three o'clock. I did a full body fascia blasting uh, session from my toes all the way up to my back. Now, after I do this device routine, I'm gonna do my chest and my um, arms in the shower. Um, with the Pro Blaster. I have to tell you, I love that Pro Blaster so much. It is so good. <laughs> I love it for my calves. I love it for my arms. I love it for the inside of my thighs. I love it for my chest and I love to use it to work my traps and my shoulders back here. It is so good. It's just so dang expensive. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do red LED light therapy. So I'm gonna put on my Aduro um, neck piece and then I'll come back and we'll do the cure treatment and the lip treatment. So I will be back in a second and I will finish, uh, finish off introducing you to the rest of this video. So I have my Aduro 7-in-1 on right now. I mean, not my 7-in-1, but my neck and deck piece. I'm going to go ahead and put on the Cure Rejuvelite Pro. This is just a three-minute treatment. So I started my fascia blasting challenge early because um, I'm going to be gone for a week at the end of this month, and I'm not going to have time to blast or fascia blast my body I don't like to take my fascia blaster tools with me on vacation because like you've heard me mention so many times here is that they're cheap and they're break. So what I'm gonna do tomorrow is I'm taking my two tools that are broken, the one that I showed you um, in the very first video, not yesterday, but the day before on, sun on Sunday or Saturday. Saturday <laughs> um, that is cracking. I have another one that is broken and I tried to return it in the past, but something fell through during the process. So I'm going to take those with me to work tomorrow and take pictures and upload it and do all the crap that I have to do to get those replaced because they are not cheap. I work by myself tomorrow and I'm probably going to work like either 6.30 in the morning to 3 p.m. or 7 to 3.30. I haven't decided yet um on what i'm going to go in but i have a lot of work to do tomorrow i have to prep patient charts for wednesday and thursday i also have to pull all the 2021 folders put those away put the new 2000 or put the 2022 folders in the right uh section and then start 
pulling 2012 and putting those away and then slipping in 2021 into our big file room. So big project. <laughs> Um, so anyways, um, so I feel so good after that fascia blasting session. I ran three miles today and I did yoga. It just feels so good to be sharing this with you guys. So after I do this device routine, I will, I'm going to go make dinner and prep my meals for the rest of the week. I just wanted to get this in while I have time. So as you know, in yesterday's video, I did that osmosis facial infusion. So I am not going to be doing a regular surface release of the fascia on my chest, my neck, or my face. I'm going to do the deep fascia holds. I have a video on this. It will give you a facelift. So after my LED light therapy, I'm going to do that. And by the way, what I wash my uh, skin with is the Osmosis Cleanse, which is their gentle cleanser. And because we're going to do radio frequency and microcurrent, you want to make sure that your cleanser is oil free or has a minimal oil. So I cleansed my skin. Next, after this, I'll do my deep fascial holds all over. Then we're gonna do radio frequency and then microcurrent, and then I will come back with you after I shower and um, do my, uh, whatchamacallit, um, my nighttime skincare routine. Now, I did start off with the Aura Lift today. Oops, don't look at my arm there. <laughs> so I did start off with the Aura Lift today. I took before and after pictures today. And by the way, my skin looks so good from doing that facial infusion. I just love those and it's going to continue to look better too. So you remember how like I always say like the goal is to first start out for wearing this for um, 15 minutes. Well, I couldn't wear it for 15 minutes. I had, could only wear it for 10. And I kind of want to talk to you guys about that because I have that HR EMS Derma Shot device from Medicube. And I don't think I'm going to be able to use that because when I was doing my oral lift treatment today, this morning, my jaw was so tense um i couldn't i i was feeling some uncomfortableness we'll see how it goes this evening when i do this i'm gonna do it around 8 p.m for my second one and then i'll repeat the process again um on the day on the third day so that's why when you're using your aura lift to help with your results it's very important to work the fascia in your face and do those deep fascial holds. Now the deep fascial holds I do once a week. You can do it once or twice a week. And I would say if you're gonna do it twice a week, make sure that they, you skip three to four days in between those deep fascial holds. Because if you do it you know, too soon, you're gonna experience, experience muscle soreness because we're releasing that tension. And just like, you know, you gotta think of this as like when you work out, right? and you're lifting weights and you're always sore, right? Well, that's kind of like what this is. You're releasing a lot of tension and the muscle is finding its new place. And so you are gonna experience soreness and you don't wanna go back and work that again, okay? Now, so you, doing your fat deep fascia holds and your surface fascia release is gonna be very important for your or, or lift treatment, okay? It's going to help especially if you are a teeth clencher, um, jaw clencher, a teeth grinder, okay? It's gonna make such a huge difference, especially with these deep fascia holds. All right, so now I am going to go in and do my current body lip perfector on my lips, three minute treatment, and then by the time this is done, my Adoro will be done, and I'm gonna do the deep fascia holds, and I will put those that video down below for you guys. And then I'll come back for radio frequency and then microcurrent. So I'll see you in a few. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna to come back here and I'm gonna start my deep fascia hold. So I just finished my LED light therapy. And by the way, I did not use anything on my skin. I just cleansed and used my LED light therapy on bare skin. Um, I reworked my whole LED light routine again 
to fit it in before my devices because I want to test out the Cure Mask, okay? And it's just a three minute treatment and I'm not going to use the Mycelma Serum. With that, um, I'm just going to do straight LED light therapy without the Mycelma Serum right now because this is just going to be much easier for me to do my devices. Um, for this next 30 days, I may go back to it because I really love the way that the Mycelma Serum and my LED light therapy works out. However, I prefer it with my Aduro 7-in-1 because it is a 20-minute treatment. I mean, I could put it on my neck and my chest, but I'm going to do radio frequency on my chest area, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> and I'm going to do radio frequency on my neck and microcurrent, and the Mycelma Serum will block you know, the currents from penetrating um, the muscle. So I'm gonna start off with my first deep fascial hold here. Now this will take you about 42 minutes because there's, um, you know, you do your call, it's seven, seven places on each side, okay? So it's three minutes each um, placement and yeah, so it takes a while, but it's so worth it, guys. I highly recommend that you do these, especially if you have a lot of tension. All right, so um, as I was mentioning about that HR EMS shot from uh, Medicube, I have just way too much tension for that device right now, and I just seriously don't think I'm going to be able to use it. It's going to be too intense for me because when I tried it uh, last week, I felt it was really tense and I had a lot of tension in my jawline, it, like it got instantly tight and it's not good for me right now because I have so much tension in my neck, my shoulders and in my jawline that that's just gonna um, increase it. And I think you all should take that into consideration because EMS, when you're using it on your face, it's meant to tighten the muscles up, right? It's not to release the tension. And I don't feel like that releases any tension whatsoever in my face. It actually increases the tension, okay? So I wanted to put that out there for you guys. Um, you know, with electrical muscle stimulation, you have to be really careful, especially if you have sensitive skin like me that's prone to broken capillaries. It is a lot of energy that is going through those um, probes on electrical muscle stimulation and it's going straight through the skin to hit the muscle and if you have sensitive skin you're prone to broken capillaries if you have tight facial muscles tight neck muscles shoulder muscles i would advise against it okay now for those who have thicker skin so my skin is thin okay i've always had thin skin it's part of my genetics um, and I just usually find that EMS doesn't work well for us thin skin, um, peeps, <laughs> but for those who have thicker skin, they have more collagen in their skin. They usually see great results with electrical muscle stimulation, but so I'm going to put that device on hold right now. I'm going to move to my next section, which is my neck here. And I'm going to be looking down so I can get a stretch while I'm doing this deep fascia hold. Um, I'm going to put that device on hold and so what I'm going to do is uh, for my device routine instead of doing the Medicube HR EMS shot device, I'm going to be uh, doing the Myolift Mini once a week. So today is going to be my once a week treatment and then um, I'm going to go through the QT app and I'm going to focus on my jowls, okay? Because that's a concern for me. I noticed that, you know, my skin is getting heavy in here and I really, <coughs> I really want to work on that. And we'll compare the pictures, um, you know, in 30 days and see how everything works out and take into consideration that I am using the Oralift 2 and the Oralift is going to be a four month program. And what that's gonna do is gonna reset my facial structure. I have to cough, <coughs> excuse me. It's gonna reset my facial structure along with you know helping my jawline, helping my jowls look better. It's gonna lift the corners up of my mouth. It's going to define my facial contours like my cheekbones and open up my eyes. 
And along with that, you know, skin texture is going to improve. And my posture, so, <coughs> excuse me. So overall, it's gonna be a great progress. Now, I'm not sure if we'll see much with the Aura Lift in 30 days, but I will be using it with other devices, so you do have to take that into consideration. All right, so I'm gonna finish up here because I don't want you guys to be hanging out with me while I do these deep fascia holds because that would make this video like two hours long. <laughs> All right, so I will see you uh, next for radio frequency. Mwah. Okay, so I just finished up with my deep fascia holds. As you can see, I'm still red in some areas. Those are amazing. <laughs> So, you know, I forgot to mention this when I did my device Q&A video when someone asked me about crepey neck skin. Um, I forgot to mention, like, when you're using the Omna to release that fascia tension, the reason why it helps with the crepey skin, because I was mentioning that, you know, it's lack of hydration in the skin. Well, when you're using your Omna, it actually hydrates all the tissues, and you have to take into consideration, too, when we get older, we have less and less circulation, um, you know, in our face, our body. And the Omna helps bring that blood flow to increase that circulation. And along with that, you know, it helps hydrate the tissues from the inside out. Okay. So same thing goes for your body skin. If you have crepey skin on your body skin, work the fascia because it will help with that crepey skin. So now that I'm done with my deep fascia holds, my hair looks freaking fabulous. I'm going to do the Nebby lift, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rehydrate my skin uh, with the 7E Replenish Mist. I'm on my second bottle, or my not my second bottle, but my new bottle of this that I got for the Black Friday sale that they had, which was awesome. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use my Nebby Lift Gel. I love the Nebby Lift Gel with my radio frequency, um, well, with the Nebby Lift, and this is their Organic Botanical Soothing Gel. Now, I believe this uh, is $59.99 at walmart.com. I haven't picked it up yet. Um, I get paid here this week, so I'm probably gonna pick some up because I think I'm about halfway through this bottle. So I am going to put this, um, you know, on my device as I do a section. So I'm going to do the 10 minute nebulip treatment tonight because, um, I don't have enough time to really do my chest because I'm going to do a full mile lift mini routine. It's probably going to take me about 35 minutes. So I'm going to do my forehead. I'm going to do this cheek. I'm going to do around my mouth, this cheek, and I'm going to do under my jawline with the nebby lift, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to do that right now. And if you don't have the nebby lift, you can go in with your radio frequency device of choice um, next after your LED light therapy or um, if you did the deep fascia holds. This is going to be really nice. And then I'm gonna come back for my Myo Lift mini treatment, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start this now. And on my forehead, I'm gonna use a level two, which is for normal skin. So on my forehead and my neck and my chest, I use a level two. And then on my cheeks here, I use level one. And I use, I'm not level one, but level three. And then underneath my jawline, I use level three. And around my mouth area, I use level three. And the reason why I use level two is in these areas is because the skin is thinner and it tends to be a little bit more sensitive to the heat for me. So now I got my gel all, um, all over. I just take this, you know, um, slowly across my forehead. I make sure I get here in between my brows and then I will go to my next section which will be this cheek all right so i will see you in a sec okay i'm back and misha wanted to say hi you know she hangs out with me here um well i'm her mommy <laughs> and i'm her favorite 
So she follows me wherever I go. So usually when I'm in here in the bathroom doing something, my little baby's here too, huh? I love you. So she wanted to come. Oh, she's looking my conductive gel. So she wanted to say hi. Um, it's the Nebulift conductive gel, so it's okay. And it was only two licks. All right, so I just finished my radio frequency treatment and I actually went ahead and just did this side of my neck and this side of my neck along with the jawline. So it was two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, so 10, 12 minutes. Now tomorrow I'm gonna do a longer radio frequency treatment and I'm gonna use the Nebulift R1. Tonight I use the Nebulift um, and one God, so confusing sometimes so i'll do the longer treatment um this is the video that i was planning on doing a separate video for but i'm just going to throw it in here and i will do that longer radio frequency treatment with the r1 that i promised for like the last month for you guys um <clears throat> i just haven't really had time to film it uh I was going to say something else, but it slipped my mind. Um, also, if, if you notice, I don't put any serums underneath my conductive gels because, you know, sometimes it just complicates things. I just want to get these devices in with my conductive gels and then be done with it. You can um, use the anti-aging peptide serum from 70 Wellness. I do love this serum and it does have conductive properties. I've never tried it with my Nebulip though, but I do... If I'm just going to do microcurrent, sometimes I will pop this under my conductive gel. Or if I'm just going to work my eyes, sometimes I'll use this and the replenish spray. So there is a place for this. I, I really love this serum. I think it's really great because it does have those conductive properties and you don't have to worry about it interfering with the microcurrent. Um, when you're doing your device, it is it does contain copper peptides, hyaluronic acid. There's zinc in here as well. So it is a lovely serum, and I think it's only like $45. And then you can use my discount if you want to get um, an additional 5% off. So what I do is I do not take off the Nebulift gel. Always have water nearby because you want to keep your skin hydrated. I do have the heater on here in the bathroom and it does kind of dehydrate my skin a bit. So I leave the Nebulift gel on and then I just use my Restore Conductive Gel and I put it over the top. Now I do this for when I'm doing the Myolift Mini or a longer um, microcurrent uh, session. If I'm just going to work an area, I'll usually like my eyes, my lips, something like that, a smaller area, I'll just usually just use the conductive mist, whoops, <laughs> over the uh, Nebula gel. So I have my spatula here, and what I like to do is I just use the pump, and I pump a little bit out on my brush, and I will apply it in sections. And if I've already got a bunch of gel on this cheek, um, then I'll just go over it with the Replenish Conductive Mist, instead of adding more gel. So it helps save on your gel too. Now, a couple things I wanna point out here with microcurrent. So I get a lot of you that get confused with the Myolith Mini on what level you should be using where. So when you get your Myolith Mini, it comes with this muscle chart and it tells you all the areas that you use the different levels. Now, I always say start out first, like, you know, uh, when you're using it, don't increase the intensity, start out at level one or in the area where it says level one and the areas where it says level two, start out at the intensity that uh, the MyoLift is set at. So level one is always gonna be 175 and level two is 350. If it's too strong for you, you decrease it. The next time you do your microcurrent treatment with the Myolic Mini, if you notice that you handled that current, you know, nothing, no muscle twitching, it felt good for you, but you want more lift, increase it by five, okay? Every time you do it, you can increase it two by five. You just have to pay attention to it. 
And if you are experiencing any, you know, uncomfortableness or the muscle twitching, then you know that the current is too strong and you have to decrease it. So what I'm going to do is I am doing the full myo lift mini treatment. So what I like to do is I start off with erase. So I'm going to work my way from the top to the bottom with erase, and then I will work my way up with educate. So I always start off on the forehead and I use level one on my forehead. And um, I, um, so level one on my forehead in between my brows, here around my eyes for, and I'm talking about erase, I use level two. Around my mouth, I use level two, chin level two. On my neck, level one. Now, when I do my MyLift mini session, I do not use Educate on my neck. I only use Erase. And I have the full tutorial listed down below in real time so you can follow along if you choose to. I have it you know, all set up for you and I explain all this in that video for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with my MyLift mini treatment. I will come back after I've done the first half of my face, we'll compare, and then I will do the other half of my face, and then I'm gonna jump in the shower and get ready, and we'll come back and do my skincare. So I will tell you, I am gonna start out at whatever the parameters are, because I'm treating this as if it's, you know, like my first time using this, or I haven't used it for a while, okay? So I'm gonna start at level one at 175, I'm gonna start out at level two at 350, and then from there, I will increase my intensity. Now, I'm thinking I may do this once a week or twice a week, but I will keep you posted. I normally, what I do is I'll do my mile lift mini, um, you know, once a week, and then I just work on smaller areas of my face. Um, with the QT or I'll pick up the, the mini and do that, but I'm thinking I want to see more results. So I'm probably going to do my mini a full session twice a week. I'm just going to make sure that there's days in between. And then during this week, I will show you what I will be doing in between. Okay. All right. So I will see you in a sec with my other half of my face. Hey everyone, so I just did this half of my face with the full Myo Lift mini treatment. Well, I did erase all over, but then I just did educate on this side of my face so we can see the difference. Now, I did what the mini is set at level one and level two. I do notice, you know, some good lifting, but I need more intensity. That's what I noticed. So the next time I go in and do my MyoLift mini treatment, I'm going to bump everything up by five and go from there. But it looks pretty good. I got a little bit of a lift here. If I would have had this a little bit more, I had it at Educate level two at 350, I probably would have gotten more lift. And the same thing with my jawline and in my cheeks and everything. I needed to bump this up definitely by five versus just using the <clears throat> what is already set in the mini. All right, so I wanted to check in with you. So I'm gonna continue on with my microcurrent treatment and I will be back in a few with my skincare routine. See you in a sec. Hi everyone, I'm back. So I just finished up my MyoLift mini treatment and here's my skin after. My skin looks so good. <laughs> So um, I decided that I'm not gonna um, show you guys my skincare um, this evening because it's going to be the same as what I used last night. Stem Factor Rescue Osmosis Enrich with Immerse and um, their Illuminate Eye Cream. And then of course, um, my Lawless, forget the filler, um, lip mask. Um, we don't need to show that again. I will show you my skincare routine when it changes. And yeah, so this is my skin tonight. I really, really love it. Now I'm gonna um, 
let you guys know what I am seeing in my skin that I want to change and that's where I'm setting up my device routine. I should have said this in the beginning and so I apologize. So I'm starting to get these marionette lines right in through here and it's more so on this side because I actually have a scar right here. You guys can't really see it, but it looks like a bunch of wrinkles. The skin is thinner here, so it's prone to marionette lines and fine lines and wrinkles. And this is from when I was in a motorcycle accident. Um, I just, I, I had road bash on my face. Yeah, I don't really want to talk about it because it's not, it doesn't sound good. And so this was, this is um, slowly recovering. It looks better since I've incorporated the Nebulift into my treatment. I do see that collagen building, but you know, for my age, I am 45, almost 46. It takes a while to build up that collagen. I'm noticing it subtly, but I wish it was more. So I'm hoping that this, you know, being consistent with my devices, showing you my plan and sticking to it, I'm hoping that we'll see a difference. Another thing I want to change um, is my jowls. I'm starting to get a little bit more jowls. Now, I have always had this like gobble gobble right here like this. This is hereditary. Um, my mom has the same thing. I've had it all my life, but it is a little bit more prominent now because I have gained weight and I'm older. So I want to work on this and that's going to be a lot a lot of this of what the, how this looks right here is going to be losing weight but i also want to pick up my jaws define my cheekbones and open up my eyes more work on my hooded eyes so that's going to be the main focus of this device routine for me for the next 30 days and then like i said i took the before and after picture so we will reassess in 30 days to see if i want to continue on with this device routine or if I want to um, you know, change it up a little bit or take something out and add something in, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found that it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I need you guys to like my videos. Nobody's liking them and it's hurting my channel and that's gonna determine on whether I continue on with YouTube or not. You know, I'm approaching my five year anniversary in February and I should be way more than 5,000 subscribers. I'm seeing people who have just started who have way more subscribers than I do. And some of these people, I, I don't know. Um, one of them used, copied my content. I gave her a skin consultation and she copied my content for her content and she didn't even give me credit. I thought she was my friend. So, you know, that's how harsh it is out here in YouTube. And that's why you guys don't see me do any collaborations with anybody because I have my wall up. I've been burned by so many content creators here that I've done skin consultations for and they've never given me credit for it. And they've used my tips and my recommendations in their videos and not once did they give me credit. And these are some big time YouTubers too. It's just kind of like upsetting and I feel like I'm the low man on the totem pole. People totally completely miss me. Um, you know, I don't talk a lot about skincare products. My job here is to help you and educate you and I feel like that's more so with devices. And I'm not someone, you know, these days well within the last two years that likes to try a lot of skincare because my skin is sensitive and you know i'm aging and i don't want to mess my skin up you know it's just i've gotten it's taken me a long time after when i very first started this channel trying all these different products having skin sensitivities and issues with my skin that i'm finally happy with my skin and i don't want to mess it up or f it up if you know what i mean it's really important to me and <clears throat> I just think that if I came on here and I just, you know, started trying all these different skincare products and reviewing them, I would probably have more subscribers, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to educate you. I'll share what I like and love, but if my channel doesn't do well within the next few months, I'm probably going to be, you're probably going to see less and less of me because it takes me a lot of time to do these videos and sometimes I feel like I'm I'm just not reaching people, okay? So I need your help with that. So make sure you like my videos. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. 
send me some love. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow for tomorrow's device routine. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Sending you all a, so much love and light and I will see you tomorrow. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day.